Hey Pisces, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Pisces. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Pisces for this week? Okay, what do they need to hear and know for this week? Pisces, haven't used this deck in a while. John Holland, The Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Okay, if you're interested, what's going on with Pisces this week? Okay, what do we have? Victory and success. Okay, Six of Wands energy. We have suffering in silence. Okay, and we have destiny. Ooh. We also have temptation at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn's energy is like the devil energy in this deck, okay? In this oracle deck. So you guys, with victory and success, suffering in silence and destiny, there's a feeling here that someone, this could be you or your person. Remember, always keep an open mind as the cards come out. The stories could be flipped or reversed, so put the characters where they go for your personal situation. But right off the bat, you guys, I'm feeling like someone <clears throat> wants a victory. This could be you, you guys. You could be wanting a victory this week, but there's some things that you're keeping to yourself, okay? A lot of you could be going through this suffering in silence, okay? Some of you, you have a great future. You have a great destiny, but it may be hard to see it right now. Some of you may be struggling to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of you may feel have felt like giving up. But I just want to encourage you not to give up, Pisces. Because it's like something is changing here. Okay? There's victory and success, but some of you need to speak up about having this victory. Don't suffer in silence. That's what I do want to say, just starting right off the bat. Okay? We have temptation here. That devil energy is there. There's something here about speaking the truth about something, okay? With triumphant success, that's two cards now that say something about success. <clears throat> so like I was saying, someone may not feel very successful right now and may be suffering a bit. But there's something that you need to speak up about with triumphant success. It's like the Ace of Swords, foundation and achievements, getting your... your achievements getting what you've always wanted okay or speaking up about what you want even when it comes to a relationship some of you need to learn to speak up about what you desire okay and i'm also getting like for a job or for your career speaking up about what you desire your dreams manifesting okay learning how to bring those dreams into fruition material and spiritual prosperity is here with wisdom learning how to use wisdom you guys, by opening up your heart chakra. Yeah, firm foundation. Some of you are wanting, I feel like you want to be stable or you want a, a solid relationship. I feel like some of you may even want to move as far as where you're living. You want to live or do want to live somewhere or do something that you're passionate about with that passion ignited there. And it may have been a while since you really felt safe, secure, with rest and rejuvenate. And spirit is encouraging you to choose wisely, you guys. Okay, so some pretty heavy messages there as far as spiritual messages, what you need to know this week for yourself, for your own, <clears throat> for your own life as an individual. So let's get into love. What is this about? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me Pisces love life. What do they need to hear and know? Let's clarify this energy. Because <clears throat> I feel like someone may want a victory with you, but they're not talking. They're not speaking up about it. Or someone is not speaking up with this suffering and silence here. Okay. What is this energy for Pisces? What is victory and success? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Victory and success. We have the Four of Wands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Victory and success. Why is that here for Pisces? Okay, one flipped out and one flipped over in the deck. So the thing that flipped out was the three of swords. We also have the three of pentacles. Ooh, two threes. Okay. 
What is going on here? I feel like some of you may have felt like this was supposed to be a successful relationship. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this could be your energy right now. Queen of Pentacles, you, you want to be loyal to someone. You want to be faithful to someone. Seeking long term, okay? It could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo for some of you. It doesn't have to be. But victory and success with the Four of Wands... Like this is supposed to be a stable relationship, but there's been heartbreak. Three of Swords. There's some type of disappointment here with the Three of Pentacles. It could be where you live. Some of you are living with a loved one, like living with this person. Living with someone that you are in a relationship with, okay? Some of you are not, but this could show me that someone someone is living with the, the other person, Okay? And maybe you've been wondering what's been going on with a living situation. If your lover, uh, are they living by themselves? Are they living with a baby mama, baby daddy? What's going on with that situation? Because someone could have a family involved with that four of wands. For some of you, there's been heartbreak. I don't know why I'm getting this, but for some of you, it's been heartbreaking your childhood. Okay. Some of you may have that on your mind. Something that you went through when you were a child. That may be on your mind, okay? But for others of you, I'm feeling like there's some type of disappointment. Why is that Three of Swords here? That Three of Swords? The Tower. Scorpio's energy is here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Why is that Three of Swords here? Something shocking happened. What is this? What is this? Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles and Judgment. So I feel like maybe for uh, some of you, something shocking happened with this heartbreak. And it's like someone has been trying to work on this, work on themselves, trying to fix things. It's been a lot. That's what I'm feeling. Something has been a lot. This could be surrounding a home. That's what I'm getting mainly for you guys. This is surrounding someone's living situation or something with another person living with someone else, okay? But whatever the shocking moment was, it's like, ugh, I want to work on it. I want to see if this can be fixed. Eight of Pentacles with the Judgment card. Can this be fixed? Can it be worked on? Can we heal this four of swords after there's been an ending or no communication? Can we heal it? What's this tower? Show me the tower. Show me the tower. Ooh, seven of cups and ace of cups. Yeah, someone is realizing something, you guys, with that tower. After there could have possibly been a third party involved, someone is realizing something. That keeping their options open or having all these cups is too much. I don't want all these cups. I want the Ace of Cups. Someone is realizing this, okay? Realizing what they really want. Some, someone they can be with long term. Ten of Pentacles. But there's been a lot of heartache here. What is the suffering in silence? Suffering in silence. Something flipped over. We have the Knight of Wands. Ooh. What is the suffering in silence? Whoa, something flipped out on the floor. Hold on. Oh my gosh, like way over there. Let me move my chair. Okay. <laughs> we had the 10 of wands that flipped out. Suffering in silence. Give me one more for that, okay? Six of cups. For some of you, uh, you may have a child. I keep getting something about someone's childhood or someone who has children. Some of you, as a side note, if you're a parent, some of you have a child that's going through something. And it's been a burden for your child to go through this or watch your child go through something difficult. I am seeing that. And someone needs to speak up about how they feel, okay? So that's for my parents. For others of you, I feel like someone has been suffering in silence because they keep holding back how they feel. 
And I feel like, Pisces, this could be you. Are you holding back? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like you may be holding back or biting your tongue about what you really need to say to somebody. You could be dealing with anger right now. The Knight of Wands with the Ten of Wands. That shows me a bit of like anger or like when someone is really upset about something and it becomes a burden. Okay? About this connection that you have with, with this person. So some of you could be carrying that weight on your back. Show me that Ten of Wands for Pisces. What is that Ten of Wands? What is the burden here? Six of Swords. What is the burden here? Suffering in silence with the Ten of Wands. What is that energy here? Will of Fortune. Yeah. What is this suffering in silence? What is that? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, and the Nine of Swords. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah. Ooh. Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I had to dig a little bit because spirit will whatever cards come out spirit will almost like if there's a difficulty spirit will like make the cards difficult to come out it's like i have to dig a little bit deeper they make us do work you guys because i see it from the first few cards but it's like someone doesn't want to say it that's how it feels someone is struggling do i move on do I just let this go? Six of Swords with the Will of Fortune. Do I just move on? Do, do I let it go? Do I keep waiting for this person when they're not loyal? You know somebody is not loyal. Or you, you don't want to be loyal to someone anymore. You're trying to decide what you need to do. Nine of Swords is in reverse. It's like, I don't want to be worried about this no more. I don't want to feel... Sorry, I flipped the cards over. I don't want to feel this type of pain. Ten of Swords. You could have been betrayed by someone. You could have betrayed someone. Vice versa, remember? Vice versa. What is that Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Show me Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. What is that Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, we have the Lovers. Gemini's energy is here. Oh, okay. Okay. We have Justice and, wow, all major arcanas. <clears throat> Lovers, Justice, and Strength. Yeah. Someone has some major, major feelings. Okay? And someone is trying to find out the truth about something or someone, and it's difficult. Something is requiring strength or courage to do this. To make something right with someone... Someone needs to make something right here because this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, uh, 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 uh. Somebody has to say something. Someone needs to apologize. Show me that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Cups. Ooh, Knight of Cups, the Fool, Two of Swords, and the Four of Swords. You know what? Pisces, what I'm feeling is someone would possibly rather you just move on with your life and them not say anything to you. King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, doesn't have to be. I feel like someone would rather you just move on with your life than actually having to apologize or say something to you to make something right with you. Two of swords, four of swords. It's like, well, I don't know what to say. So I'm not going to say anything at all. It's kind of, honestly, it feels a bit like a cop out. What is destiny here? Destiny. Ooh, Harfont in reverse could be dealing with a Taurus. Three of cups. Destiny. The moon just flew out in reverse. Cancerian energy. Some of you dealing with a cancer or a Taurus for some of you. Ho, 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 ho. You guys, some it's like someone is not wanting to listen to their intuition when it comes to this connection. 
their intuition or spirit is telling this person something. Let me show you the hard font in the upright. It's very, it's a very spiritual card. And it's like someone may not be listening to what spirit is telling them or guiding them to do. Someone could also feel like they're trapped in a long-term situation and they want to get out of it, whatever that may be. Okay. The three of cups is here. We already had the three of swords and the three of pentacles. Now we have the three of cups. There definitely could be a third party involved that may be affecting someone's marriage or someone's long-term relationship. Some, something could be interfering with this three of cups and you may find something out with the moon card in reverse. You may find something out. What is this moon card in reverse? Moon in reverse for Pisces. Moon in reverse. Yeah, the devil energy. What is this moon in reverse? Moon in reverse. Empress. Oof. Moon in reverse. Whoa, your cards are flying out. Give me a second while I pick this up. Page of Swords. Yeah. You guys, some of you... Mm, Now, I got two stories here. First one, some of you may finally get this person to confess how they feel about you. And they, they've been hiding this. They, they didn't want to tell you that they wanted marriage, you know, that they wanted something long term with you. It's like they needed time to think about it. They've been suffering in silence. <clears throat> and, you know, they kept it to themselves for a long time. So you may find that out. The second story that I'm getting is that someone is dealing with a wife or a baby mama or <clears throat> a girlfriend. And this is going to come out. This is going to come out. I just want to show you this again. That hard font reverse. Someone could be in a bad marriage. Mm-hmm. And had a third party on the side and a secret. The moon is darkness. And hiding things. With it being in reverse, that means the secret comes out and things are no longer hidden. And when I clarified it just now, we had the devil with the empress. So that shows me that someone could be cheating on a wife, cheating on a girlfriend. Someone's cheating here. Okay. And you may find this out with the Page of Swords. Something comes out here. Yeah. For that first story, someone is going to manifest. I see two different stories here. Someone is going to manifest something with you. That first story with someone suffering in silence. They haven't been telling you how they're feeling. They haven't been communicating this person has not known how to come forth to just confess their feelings. They've been ignoring their intuition, all of that. They're going to manifest the two of cups with you, you guys. Knight of cups, ace of pentacles, very beautiful energy. Someone wanting to rush in and do this could be someone younger than you, okay? Or vice versa. You may be younger than this person. But for others of you who are dealing with a third party situation, I see that a secret may have already come out and you're you've you're learning how to deal with this or this secret will come out show me that devil energy there for pisces we have scorpio's energy with death show me that devil energy there yeah hangman someone is stuck trying to end something show me that devil energy why is that here for pisces Seven of Pentacles, yeah. See, someone could be stuck, you guys. A bit nervous, stuck, feeling anxiety with the Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This person could be trying to go through a divorce. They could be losing money right now with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hanging Man. You see the coins falling out of, out of the pockets. His legs are tied up in chains. Someone feels stuck in something. And they may not have told you that they were married or they were already in a relationship or they got somebody pregnant. 
I feel like they they feel like their life is over with that death card. Someone may feel like their life is over. Because there may be a love child coming to the forefront. Someone may have cheated and created a love child. And this is why this person has been stuck in silence or suffering in silence. King of Cups, High Priestess with the Eight of Swords. For some of you, uh, this could be you, Pisces. This could be you. You could have gotten with someone and they got you pregnant but you didn't know that this person was married or you didn't know that this person was in a relationship already. They could have told you that they were single and they were not. If you're a Pisces male, maybe you got somebody pregnant because this is showing me King, that King of Cups, that's your energy and the High Priestess is your major arcana with the Eight of Swords. That tells me, Pisces, that you could be nervous about a situation now. That's what it's describing. You could be very nervous about a situation or to tell someone something. Okay? Especially if you're a male Pisces or in your masculine energy as a Pisces. Even if you're a female. You could be nervous right now. Okay? To confess something or to tell someone something. But I feel like the truth is about to come out. Because it's like you've been suffering in silence long enough. How is Pisces feeling about this person or this situation? How is Pisces feeling? Queen of Swords. Ooh. How is Pisces feeling about this person or this situation? Three of Wands. You may feel a bit distant from this person or you're distancing yourself right now. How is Pisces feeling about this situation or this person? Queen of Wands. Ooh. Okay. Two of Cups. Mm. So you may be distant, but you still have a lot of passion <clears throat> and feelings for this person. Okay? You may be putting your guard up a bit, you know, waiting or distant, but you still have a lot of passion with the Queen of Wands. You may also know that you are a part of a third party. You may... You may intuitively know that or you may have already found that out when you get the queen of swords queen of wands <clears throat> you may already know this for some of you who are not dealing with the third party you're waiting on this lover to come toward you to finally speak their peace that's why i was saying story number one you're waiting for a lover to come to you it's like i want to talk but I, i'm having to wait because they you know they won't come and talk to me yet about how they feel and I'm very passionate about this person. Woo! Nine of Wands just flew out out of nowhere. You are, that's what I'm saying. That Queen of Swords energy, you are protecting yourself. Okay? By staying a bit guarded. Because you don't want to get hurt. How's this person feeling about Pisces? How's this person feeling about Pisces? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. How's this person feeling? Five of Pentacles. How's this person feeling? Five of Cups. How's this person feeling? Page of Pentacles. Ooh, High Priestess. King of Cups. Mmm, Seven of Swords. Honestly, Pisces, they may feel like you're uh, keeping secrets from them. <laughs> This person may feel like you're holding back Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, running from them or not talking to them, not communicating with them. They could feel like you're keeping a secret here. High Priestess is Keeper of Secrets and it is still your energy. So this is how they're seeing you. Five of Pentacles, they may feel ghosted by you or left out in the cold. They could be acknowledging that they left you out in the cold. They're missing you. Five of Cups, there's a lot of regrets here, okay? And someone wants to communicate, but it may be very small with the page of pentacles there, okay? They may want to talk to you about a child, okay, with that page of pentacles. Potential outcome for this week. Potential outcome for this week for Pisces and this person. Ooh, we had quite a few flip over. Two of pentacles. The emperor. We already had the empress come out. Page of cups. The sun. Something coming to light. Ace of Wands. 
temperance is going something here is going to require patience okay with that temperance could be dealing with the sag or an aries for some of you let me show you what this energy is so someone's still trying to figure out what to do two of pentacles I, i'm not sure if i'm ready to be an emperor okay i'm trying to figure it out or this person could be like how do i tell pisces that i'm married emperor can be a husband okay page of cups how do I tell Pisces that I'm not ready to be a father? How do I tell Pisces when you get this energy? That's I'm getting a lot from this. I can read it in different ways. How do I, two of pentacles, father, emperor, tell Pisces that I'm not ready to be a father? Page of cups, a child. How do I apologize to Pisces? Or Pisces, you may be wondering this. How do I apologize to this person? Or how do I say this to this person? How do I tell, so for some of you who are younger, and if you're pregnant, how do I tell my father that I'm pregnant? Or how do I tell my parents that I, I got pregnant? Okay? Or that I'm becoming a father. Something is going to come to light here. Okay? For those of you who are waiting on a lover to speak up to you, this person, they want to say something, but they're trying to figure out how to do it because they're feeling very passionate about you. The sun with the ace of wands, okay? They want to tell you how they feel. They want to start something with you, but it's taking time. It's taking time. This person is dragging their feet a bit. Okay, anything... Oh, gosh, too much. <laughs> that was a stack. Anything that uh, spirit that you can give us to let us know who this person is or to confirm this person for Pisces, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Who is this person who they're dealing with? Let's get some characteristics here. Did Okay, y'all. Y'all, stop. Didn't I say this at the beginning? Someone is dealing with childhood trauma or childhood issues. I said that at the very beginning that this could be coming up in someone's mind this uh, this week. This could be on your mind, something that you went through in your childhood or something that you have to deal with. Okay, so that could be for you or your person. Take it as it resonates. What else? Someone's smile needs work. And you know what I feel with this? I feel like something, it's been hard for you to be happy. Something has been making you sad. That suffering in silence, you know, you barely put on a smile because deep down inside you feel, you know, torn apart. You're feeling sad or depressed. This may be you or your partner, okay? Someone wants to let you know that they're single. Remember I said someone could have said that they were single and they were not. What else? A situation ship. <laughs> situationship settling for less that could have been what this was you guys a situationship okay don't settle you guys because I, I feel like that came out for a reason someone could be crying right now again that's that feeling of suffering in silence crying tears someone wants to be more traditional or have a traditional relationship Someone could also be tired of mundane things, typical, run the mill, you know, same old, same old. Someone could be tired of that as well with this person, going in circles with this person. Someone is handsome, easy on the eyes, fine, or considered cute, okay? And one more. Someone could be an extrovert, social, direct, or have a big personality, at the bottom of the deck, someone is full of energy, can't sit still, always on the go. Okay, so that could be some things that confirm uh, who this person is or confirm your feelings for this person. Okay, and what's the advice for this week? Let's get some advice. Advice for this week, okay. We have success. That came out with triumphant success, you guys. I was saying, you know, don't. Put yourself too low, you guys. Speak up for what you want. If you want to move jobs, if you want to move locations, or if you want a better relationship, some of you will be successful. You don't have to suffer in silence. Ask your angels. 
Okay, ask your spirit guides, seek advice. Maybe you'll get uh, confirmation through tarot readings as well. Yeah, look for a sign. Synchronicities, certain things that may be coming through, 555 signifying a lot of changes that may be happening. Look for angel numbers, 222, 88, stuff like that, okay? That will kind of confirm for you that you're doing the right thing. Look for a sign. At the bottom of the deck, something is not the right time. And that's why I was saying something is requiring you to wait. And I already said that, so I don't want to keep repeating myself. But something is not the right time, you guys. But overall, Pisces, I feel for the first story, someone has been dragging their heels. They need to come in and just confess how they feel about you. They've been having you waiting for no reason. I feel like they've been shy or they've been overthinking the situation. And then for that second story with the third party, someone has a big confession and they have been holding it back for as long as possible, but someone needs to speak their truth, you or your person. Alrighty, Pisces, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you in your next reading. Take care. Bye.